there, it's the final day of Vida, and that is crazy that we've actually managed to do a full month of daily vlogs. I think there were definitely points where we thought we weren't going to make it, or, you know, output wasn't exactly exactly what we wanted, but, you know, we made it this far, and I'm really proud of us for doing that, and I'm just so happy that I've been able to share it with you, and keep connecting with you in this way, and it's fantastic, and the friends that we've made out of this are absolutely great, and the other people who, you know, technically strangers who watch these and are able to enjoy them, hopefully, you know, just a little insight into our lives, I think it's fantastic, and I'm just so happy. I'm so slightly relieved that it's over, because, whew, it's been a big drain, and thankfully it's sort of coincided with holiday typeness, you know, two weeks where I've been able to actually edit and commit to doing things and I'm going to stop gesturing now and move on to another topic. Today I've been at a choir course um, from 11 till we finished at half past four instead of six so I came home and watched Doctor Who after that and that was brilliant and amazing my mind has been blown and oh my goodness I can't cope I know you haven't seen it yet but oh la 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 wow and when I got home mum had been to Leeds to visit granddad because he's been in a new rehabilitation centre thing and everything's so much better there and I'm it's such a relief and I'm just so happy that he'll hopefully be better enough to, to go home by Wednesday and she went and bought this um, because she wanted to buy the Guardian Weekend magazine and when she saw it she was more persuaded to buy it well, she was persuaded to buy it more by Jesse Eisenberg's beautiful face because she knows that I really like him and that is amazing so he's got a little article in there about being it says here uh, Jesse Eisenberg on fame, therapy and not fitting in so it's just amazing, just brilliant, and we've just watched Britain's Got Talent, and Mum and I were just having a fit about the boys from Oxford who were singing, and we were just like, oh my goodness, it's like real life warblers, and then, and then they were great, and then Mum was like, there's not enough Kurt in this, and then Ronan walked on, and we were like, he's so gonna win, and then he reacted, and Mum was like, that was pure Kurt, and I know you shouldn't make snap judgments, but he's brilliant, and ah, could win and I'd be happy if he won because, you know, it's excellent and there's also this really embarrassing dancing woman on it and mum was like, she's a rubbish, what's she doing here? And I was like, she's got talent, girl. Mm-hmm. I think you said that you'll be doing the first video back, so yeah, that would make sense because if I'm doing the last one in April, then you will do the first week back, so I hope to hear about your first full week of term back at university and then I'll fill you in on whatever the heck is going on in my sixth form career when that gets round to being kick-started. Tomorrow we're singing at a wedding with NEYC, which is what I've been at. Um, we're doing another 11 till 6 day because we're singing at the wedding from like 1 till 2 and then going back and having a rehearsal for the rest of the afternoon. And we're singing The Caravan of Love by the House Martins and it's amazing and it's stuck in my head and the bass line is brilliant but that's all from me for Vida and here's to just back to the routine and safe journey and Geronimo and that.